Hi, um, my name is Marian Small and I've had the opportunity in the last few years in particular in working with lots of teachers on the concept of multipli multiplicative thinking. Um, often when we think about multiplication, we just think of what is four times three and what is five times seven. But there is actually something that is called multiplicative thinking. Um, some people also call it proportional reasoning. And the focus is when I look at two numbers, I think about their relationship in a multiplying kind of way instead of in an adding kind of way. So if I looked at a number like 10 and two, instead of thinking 10 is eight more than two, I would be thinking 10 is five of those twos. So it's kind of like two is a unit and you're counting how many of those units make 10. Um, I think it's really helpful for you as a teacher to think of multiplicative thinking as unitizing and make a link between measurement and number. So when I look at a number, I can think of how many units of a little number make that number up. It happens all over the place in the mathematics curriculum. It certainly happens when we're multiplying and dividing. It also happens when we work with fractions. So the reason that 5 tenths is equal to 1 half is because there are two of those fives in a tenth. And the reason that 4 sevenths is not a half is because there are not two of those fours and sevens. So it's all about unitizing. Um, we use unitizing and proportional thinking when we're thinking in probability. So if I have a little bag of counters and this bag has three red guys and a white guy, and this guy, this counter has, or this bag has seven red guys and a thousand white guys. Even though it had more red counters, you have a better chance of picking red in this other bag. And that's because you're thinking proportionally or multiplicatively. So it happens in that particular domain as well. Um, we can think multiplicatively when we're using graphs. So I look at a bar graph. This is how many people have dogs, and this is how many people have cats. And instead of saying how many more people have dogs than cats, I could say, is this bar twice as tall, or more than twice as tall, or less than twice as tall? So a lot of proportional reasoning work is buried in the curriculum, and it takes a teacher to bring it out. Other proportional reasoning work is just like dead on in the curriculum. I'm doing multiplying, so I have to think that way. Um, I think it's important for you to know that research tells us that the kids who eventually are the most successful in math are the kids who start thinking in this multiplicative way.